welcome to Razor Pop, the latest in entertainment and pop culture. There's Helmi sitting next to me. And uh, Sarah sitting next to me. <laughs> and we have with us Ng Yi Sheng, who is a playwright. And perhaps most famous voice play 251, or is it 251? 251. 251. 251. Based on the life of a Singaporean porn star, yep. Annabelle Chung. Star Annabelle. of Annabelle Chung Gangbang. And I don't know that yeah. on a personal it's level. It's called World's Greatest Gangbang, actually. The World's, World's Greatest, greatest Gangbang. Yeah, I know. When it was, was released, yeah. it was the, you know, it was the top-selling pornography video of all time. Do and you have, do you own a copy? No, it's like, it's impossible to find now, I think. Really? Yeah, but I could pass my day. <laughs> so 251 was the number of men she had sex with. More or less, it was the number of sex acts she had. She re recycled the men because she recycled couldn't actually the get 251. Well, the men have stamina. I have to give them that. Uh, no, no, do you see them? They're ugly. No. I, anyway. I don't know this on a personal <laughs> right. because now, of me. Now Sorry. he's turned his attention to another Singapore icon, uh, perhaps a more respectable one. The founder perhaps. of Singapore, <laughs> Sir Stanford Raffles. I thought Sang Nila Otama was the founder of Singapore. In a way. Well, you, you, you're here to correct any mis- Wrong impressions, right? Now, the play is called The Last Temptation of Stamford Raffles, and it premieres tomorrow night, that's, that's Wednesday, at Drama Centre at the National Library at 8pm. It will continue to run until Sunday. Tickets from $35 to $50 are available at Sistic. So tell me, Isha, what was the real Stamford Raffles like? He was bloody weird. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, we, we don't learn about this in school, in school uh, how... How strange he was. I mean, he. Like, what, what we learned in school was that he was this, you know, bringer of civilization mm-hmm. to the uh, East, that he, you know, he set up a school, Raffles Institution, right, and right. he, like, put down all these, these laws. Yeah, <clears throat> but these like, laws. The reason, uh, and that people say they, uh, he came to Singapore just because he found out that it was economically the best place to for, tra- yeah, for trade right. between China and India. Why did he come to Singapore then? Well, that, w- that was one of the reasons. But another reason was because he was, he was so caught up in the legends of uh, the Malay kings, like San Nila Utama. Mm-hmm. And uh, he helped to translate the legends but into English. But you said English. he was weird. So why, uh, why hold was on. he weird? Let me finish. Ah, okay. And, uh, and so he, was actually, he actually was so drawn to Singapore because he, he felt that this was the ancient city of Singapore. When wow. he, he came to Singapore and wrote letters back, he said, right. I am at the ancient city of Singapore. And, so he, he, wanted, and he felt himself to, it to be sort of continuing in the tradition of the ancient Malay kings. Wow. Uh, and he, yeah, he was interested not just in culture, he was interested in, uh, in, in science and botany. He, was, he made his <laughs> wife uh, go... You know, go through the jungles on expeditions with wow. him then to discover flowers and animals. He, um, yeah, and he, he, he kept... has a collection, right, showcased in the museum yeah. where he drew a lot of flowers that he found. And actually, it wasn't he. He got Chinese coolies to paint the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, the, and he he had, had live animals too. He had his his children playing with tiger cubs and tapirs and sun bears. And the sun bear actually developed a, ch- a taste for champagne. Wow. They, uh, yeah, they, so he was uh, actually a very complex, cultured man. He was, yeah, he was driven. He was like really, he was really passionate, mm. and he really. Uh, he, uh, from your description of him, he reminds me a bit of that Australian star who passed away because you know he got stabbed in the heart by the stingray. Oh, the oh. crocodile hunter. The crocodile, the crocodile hunter, hunter, Steve Irwin. Yeah, but it, remember, this is a crocodile hunter who just happens to, you know, colonize an entire country. Yeah, exactly. Right. And legislate no, so it too. Like, 